St. Andrew's School was conceived in the late 1950s in the mind of Reverend Hunter Wyatt Brown, the executive director of the Episcopal School Foundation. The school would have an initial enrollment of 150 boarding boys in grades 7 through 12, and it would welcome boys regardless of race or socioeconomic status. Tuition would cost an average of $1,800. Donations would help those students who came from households with lower incomes. In 1961, a prospectus was published and the name St. Andrews appeared for the first time. Mr. Alexander Henderson would become the school's chief benefactor in its formative years. Generous donations from Arveda Corporation and the Butts family played a key role in securing 71 acres of land. Groundbreaking for Henderson Hall took place on December 17, 1961. Henderson Hall was followed by McIntyre Dormitory. The Chicky Chapel was donated by Johnny Tucker and other Seminole Indians from the reservation in the Everglades. On September 21, 1962, the first students arrived from as far away as Rio de Janeiro and from several U.S. states. That first year, fall of 1962, there were 120 students. There were 100 boarders and 20 day students. They were all boys. We had 20 faculty for 120 students. That's an amazing ratio. Six had PhDs. The days began early for the boys with the rising bell at 6.30 a.m., followed by Holy Communion. Breakfast was followed by six class periods. Faculty wife served milk and cookies during a half hour recess. Next was a one hour work program, athletics, an extra help period, a seated formal dinner, study hall, and finally lights out at 9.30 for younger students and 10.30 for older students. In June of 1964, St. Andrews graduated its first class and it was just getting started. Construction of the Chapel of St. Andrews, the Apostle began in 1966 and was dedicated in 1967. Some other interesting facts about the school include, in 1966, St. Andrews was selected as the spring training campsite for the Miami Dolphins. In 1968, our campus was selected as one of the training sites for the second Super Bowl with Green Bay versus Oakland. Also in 1968, three girls, faculty daughters, joined the student body on an experimental basis. Ms. Teresa Bynum Vigneault became the first female to graduate from St. Andrews School. She returned to teach in 1973 and remained until retirement in 2014. 1969. It was awesome. I mean, what can I say? All of these boys, and they were my boys. For me to be first is something that I, I really hold on to as being very, very special. The experiment was successful, and St. Andrews began admitting girls in 1971. Shockingly, snow fell on campus for about an hour on January 19, 1977. In 1989, school president Hillary Pushkin, class of 1990, and senior class president Peter Fetchel, class of 1990, helped establish an honor code and proposed an honor board. In 1994, a six million dollar capital campaign successfully raised funds for a new middle school. Another successful capital campaign in combination of generous gifts gave away to the Nina and Edgar Otto Lower School, which opened in 2000 with 218 students. In 2007, a new cheeky chapel was built. Driving the project was Wyatt Porter Brown, son of founder Hunter Wyatt Brown. Leading the construction crew was Roy Cypress, a Seminole Indian and the nephew of the builder of the original cheeky chapel. In 2010, St. Andrews becomes an IB World School, authorized to offer the International Baccalaureate Diploma beginning with the class of 2012. St. Andrews also joined a worldwide organization of leading international schools known as Round Square. Round Square schools are committed to six pillars, internationalism, democracy, environment, adventure, leadership, and service. In 2012, the Scots celebrated their 50th anniversary. In its short history, St. Andrews has been blessed to have leadership from 12 dedicated educators. In 2013, Peter B. Benedict II is installed as headmaster. From the beginning, St. Andrews emphasized the arts and athletics. We now offer 17 different sports and have 64 different teams. The bagpipe band began with two boys and continues today. The dance program is thriving. There are drama productions in all three divisions each year. Visual Arts now offers courses ranging from drawing and ceramics to photography and graphic design. The music program began in year one and continued to grow. Now that we've talked about history and buildings, let's talk about the most important thing, relationships. St. Andrews values and fosters relationships. Whether student to student, faculty to student, 
in and out of the classroom. We are very proud of our Scots. This is why we do what we do. This is why we nurture our students in mind, body, and spirit.